When Ritehailing first started implementing dynamic pricing, there was a lot of excitement in the field of operations research about this. The reason is that the field of operations research has studied dynamic pricing and revenue management for many decades. And the idea of Ritehailing really implementing it in real time was really exciting. The airline industry has used revenue management uh, for a very long time, but it's not real time. They don't change prices for tickets every two minutes or so. Ritehailing seemed to be the first application in the physical world that was really doing it in real time. And there was a lot of excitement about it, naturally. But it turned out that some behavioral aspects were maybe glossed over initially. So people didn't think about necessarily in practice the implication of having prices change every two minutes, which is one would have users, riders that want to get a ride, just wait two minutes for the price to drop. I remember a few years ago, this is a pre-pandemic memory, uh, of being at, at a gathering at a friend's place and people were uh, waiting for the prices to drop. They were basically on the app, looking at the app, waiting when is the price going to drop because that's the moment I'm going to request. Now, the traditional models of dynamic pricing don't capture that kind of behavior. And in order to address sort of a proper dynamic pricing algorithm, in order for a proper dynamic pricing algorithm to balance the right hailing marketplace in a healthy way that works for both sides of the market, you, you really do need to address this. The solution that Lyft implemented as wait and save is one in which users have the option to either pay the high price, just like they would under dynamic pricing, or to pick the low price option with waiting, which Lyft calls wait and save. And what our work suggests is that by offering these two different streams really in the product offering, the platform gains greater control over its supply than it would under the traditional dynamic pricing scheme in which the price is either high or low, but it changes instantaneously and for everyone. Now, with it changing for everyone, customers are incentivized to conduct this ad hoc waiting where they stare at their phone and wait to request when the price drops. With wait and save, the platform gains more control and then can use its drivers in a more efficient manner, which both drivers and the platform can benefit from.